presentation is on Dame Kelly Holmes, also known as just Kelly Holmes. Kelly Holmes is one of Britain's most recognised and admired athletes for running. She won two gold medals in 2004. She was on the and she was born on the 19th of April 1970, making her 32. As well as competing in sports, she also joined the army in 1988. The reason you chose Kelly Holmes to study is because of her success rate, the, uh, winning two gold medals in one year, and her ability to um, Achievements. As you can see, there's quite a lot of quotes. I highlighted the points in red. She won in 1994 God's Commonwealth Games and again in 2002, along with bronze for the European Championship. And then not to uh, the two gold medals in 2004, um, she made the British record for the 1,500 metres. Looking closely at trait theories, um, Holmes is motivated, showed motivation drive and integrity traits. This is said by Kirkpatrick and Locke in 1991. As she was in a gutsy committed approach to her athletics and her ability to overcome injury and illness and still set the top of her discipline. This is a leadership trait. Also to back this up, how she juggled the army and uh, sports career. Also adds to this. Uh, being an Olympian, um, she clearly shows positive energy as the amount of training that goes into it. This is extra vision by Goldberg and Trey and Costa. This is a relationship trait. So also back this up, she won BBC Sports Personality of the Year in 2004. Moving on to the great man theory, she is from a single parent family that was brought up in Kent and she was encouraged to run by her primary school. Therefore, I thought this goes against the great man theory because she didn't have an exceptionally good start in life. No different to anyone else. I think my personal opinion is that her coach Dave Arnold contributed into making her into a leader as a trainer for 18 years. Moving on to Evelyn. Yes, my name is Evelyn Ashton. I come from the Bank and Antwerp. With my time with improving the performance of followers and developing followers with their fullest potential. For example, uh, uh, Kenny Tipkana is like Kenny Tipkana is known to overcome her injury background. Hannah, uh, Hannah was injured and uh, her coach predicted that uh, she was going to be out for several weeks. That made uh, Hannah to doubt that, uh, to doubt that her Olympic, Olympic uh, dream. So Kelly threw her from a, a, a program, a Kelly program. Kelly said to her that you have a mental strength to overcome the injury. So, so she took her to her uh, to her coach, said to, uh, to her that uh, my coach is going to be a motivator, that uh, she's going to look after you, that she's going to support you, and your family will be at your back too. Uh, Project and Partners was an intervention we had to challenge the process. Kelly said he had an idea on the on the Hannah, said to her, that uh, she challenged the process, supported her and made sure that uh, she went through it. Inspiring the shared vision, Kelly envisioned the future of Hana, said to her that you have mental strength to overcome it, that you will, you will make it, and she supported her uh, and, uh, to the end of, of the Olympic process. I left the order to add this institution where my uh, manager can now uh, to involve in activity, also in decision making, and make sure that and try to make sure that they try to tell them that they, they are useful in the organization. So Kelly, uh, Kelly said to Hannah, even if you cannot uh, run, that you should be working, that that should make a, a difference in future. Encouraging the hand. So Kelly encouraged Hannah, supported her, motivated her. Uh, to achieve her goal. So, Hannah um, uh, got great and passed the uh, Olympic uh, 2012 and won several medals. All right, Kelly Holmes is a good example of inspirational model of leadership. And her expression turns me not to put not only for service, but as a successful life. Only a work of a study can find around 
Many features of leadership. Make a rough listen. Any questions? 